Good morning dear students today we will start lesson 24 life in eastern coastal plains we have already studied about western coastal plains now we study eastern coastal plains starting from west bengal the eastern coastal plains extends up to kanyakumari covering the states of west bengal odisha andhra pradesh tamil nadu and union territory puducherry the eastern coastal plains are wider than the western coastal plains western coastal plains are narrow and eastern coastal plains are wider than western coastal plains let us learn more about eastern coastal plain first of all we will study about the state west bengal the coastal plains of west bengal lie in the northernmost part of the eastern coastal plain yani eastern coastal plain start hi hota hai west bengal se these plains are very fertile rice and jute grow abundantly bahut hi fertile land hai yahan ka aur jute and rice ye crops bahut achhi quantity mein wahan grow hote hain the plains are made fertile by the ganga and the hogli rivers रिवर्स के किनारे की जो जमीन होती है वो बहुत फर्टाइल होती है और यहाँ पर रिवर गंगा एंड हुगली रिवर्स है कोलकाता इज़ द कैपिटल सिटी ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल कोलकाता इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट पोर्ट्स ऑफ ईस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन्स यू कैन अंडरलाइन दिस दैट इट इज कोलकाता इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट पोर्ट्स सी पोर्ट्स मैंने आपको बताया है जहाँ पर शिप्स आकर रुकती हैं और जो सामान होता है गुड्स होते हैं वो वहाँ से ट्रांसपोर्ट होते हैं Rice and fish are the staple food, and people speak Bangla. Language is Bengali, Bangla, and Durga Puja is their main festival. And main food is rice and fish. Now we come to the next state that is Odisha. Capital of Odisha is Bhubaneswar, and this state lies in the delta of the Mahanadi River. ठीक है लाइक इन वेस्ट बंगाल वी हैड रिवर गंगा एंड हुगली इन ओडिशा वी हैव महानदी रिवर एंड फार्मिंग इज द मेन ऑक्यूपेशन एंड राइस इज द मेन फूड ऑयल सीड्स पल्सेज एंड शुगर क्रेन आर ऑल्सो ग्रोन पूरी इज द सिटी ऑफ जगन्नाथ टेम्पल इज लोकेटेड इन ओडिशा रथ यात्रा ऑफ लॉर्ड जगन्नाथ अट्रैक्ट थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पीपल This is very famous. Rath Yatra is very famous of Puri. You must have seen during the month of July. Rath Yatra. You can uh, watch in the news channel on the Rath Yatra day that how many people collect together to pull the rath of Lord Jagannath. And temple of Lord Jagannath is there in Puri. Another important temple is Sun Temple, which is at Konark. So there is no. idol of god there their sun itself is the god in the sun temple and it is built very scientifically you should visit it sometimes katak is an important business and industrial center of odisha for business and for industries katak is important the uh, city another attraction of this state is chilka lake and in chilka lake it is uh, said that dolphins are also there Paradvi port is located in this region so the important sea port of odisha is paradvi port people mainly speak odia language and odissi dance is the classical dance form next we come to the state andhra pradesh you have already studied about the state of andhra pradesh and its division into telangana the godavari and that means the state andhra pradesh is divided into two parts now one is andhra pradesh and other is telangana and capital of both is hyderabad now which rivers flow here godavari and krishna and their delta delta kya hote hai rivers jahan apne important minerals aur sab deposits ko chhod kar sea se mil jate hain that part is called delta and that part is very fertile rice is grown here fishing is equally important Vishakhapatnam is the coastal city and an important seaport. So, a seaport of Andhra Pradesh is Vishakhapatnam. An oil refinery and then iron and steel plant are also located here. Now we study about Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is situated in the southernmost part of the eastern coastal plains. Yani eastern coastal plains start hota hai West Bengal se, then there is Odisha, then Andhra Pradesh, and then Tamil Nadu. it lies on the coromandel coast this coast is called coromandel coast this is 
the capital city of Tamil Nadu and is located in coastal plains. It is important seaport. And Tuticorin is another major seaport. So two major seaports are there in Tamil Nadu. One is Chennai and one is Tuticorin. Most of the people here are either farmers or fishermen. So main occupation kya hai inki? Ya to ye log farmer hote hai ya fir fishermen hote hai. Jo fish catch karte hai sell karte hai. Rice, groundnut, coconut, sugarcane, banana and cotton are the main crops. Tamil is the main language. Kanyakumari is a place where the eastern and the western plain meets. This is very very important that Kanyakumari, underline this, that Kanyakumari is a place where eastern coast and western coast. Dono aakar ke yaha meet karte hai Kanyakumari point pe. Another important thing about Kanyakumari is that this is the place where Indian Ocean, Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea. Ye teeno jo humare oceans and seas hai, ye yaha par meet karte hai. And the famous Vivekanand Rock Memorial is located here, which you can see in the picture. Our Swami Vivekanand memories and his things related to him are all kept here. Puducherry is a union territory. It is famous for Aurobindo Ashram. Most people are farmers who grow sugarcane, rice, oil seeds and coconut. Main languages are Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam and French. Read the lesson thoroughly and do the work related to this lesson that I will send to you. Then write down the names of states and capitals as well.